Ciao Lega Nerd, siamo a Lucca, al Palazzo Ducale, dove nell'ambito del Lucca Comics and Games sono state organizzate e allestite un sacco di mostre, ma la nostra preferita è quella dedicata ad Emil Ferris, ovvero l'autrice del bellissimo La mia cosa preferita sono i mostri, di cui stiamo ancora aspettando il secondo volume, ma siamo fiduciosi, anche perché abbiamo avuto la fortuna di incontrarla proprio qui, le abbiamo fatto qualche domanda e off camera ci ha detto sì, sì, non vi preoccupate, il secondo volume sta arrivando. Eh, chi ama i mostri non può assolutamente perdersi questa mostra, nonché l'opera di Emil Ferris. Vi portiamo noi tra le stanze del Palazzo Ducare di Lucca, che vedete qui già alle mie spalle, dove sono stati esposti decine e decine e decine di disegni dell'artista. Eh, per vedere la mostra c'è tempo fino al 3 novembre, quindi io direi che è ora di muoversi, muoversi, correte, correte a Lucca. Noi alla mostra siamo anche arrivati preparati. 42. You really love monsters, but uh, in your opinion, who are the real monsters today? In today? Yeah. We are. <laughs> uh, human beings are the only monsters there really are, I think. And, um, and I love them. I love monsters. Um, I have more of a problem with uh, villagers. <laughs> who don't realize that they're monsters. I think that's going to change, though. I think they're going to realize that they, uh, that they shouldn't uh, project other uh, and hurt people, that they should uh, discover their own power instead, and that they're very powerful and uh, amazing, beautiful, magnificent. When they do that, they won't need to look outside themselves to hate anything or anyone. I think I've, I've had enough difficulty in my life so that I've had to develop my own way to be and to do what matters to me. I think everyone is unique, absolutely everyone, but maybe they don't yet know how to trust who they are and what they can do. And if they, um, if they trust that, I think ultimately they will develop their own thing uh, because the only person's work you're responsible to do is your own work. I know it's difficult, but what's your favorite monster? <laughs> uh, I, you know, if I, it'd be kind of like asking, what's your favorite child of your children, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a really good question that way, because I don't want to play favorites, but uh, I, I don't... I really don't think I have an absolute favorite. I think I like them all for different reasons. And I think that we need them all because they express different things about us that we're either uncomfortable with or that we haven't yet learned our, our, our superpowers. I'm doing a drawing right now of Medusa, and it occurs to me that, you know, people think she's a monster, but her only real monstrous quality is that she protects herself from a home invasion. Um, and I find it really interesting that that's a monstrous quality in a woman, whereas if it were the quality of a man, we would consider that heroic. So I think we need her. We need Medusa. Um, we need the Swamp Thing. We need the Wolfman. We need werewolves in general. We need vampires. We need creatures that tell us different things about ourselves. They describe different parts of us. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel very fond of all of them. <laughs> 